Hello everyone, I'm Anisha. Welcome all of you to my channel that is virtual classes. So today in this class, we are going to do your big question, okay, especially the big question and textual question and answer. I'll bring separate video for this textual question and answer and also extra question and answer and objective types, okay. So this is your chapter number seven, class six, okay. This is from your class six, social science, India's cultural route. So basically they are given three big questions, isn't it? So in this class, we are going to discuss those three big questions, okay. And after that, I'll again give the textual question and answers, extra question and answers, which will be very much helpful for your exam. And we'll also discuss the summary, okay. So now let us start and yes today this uh, class will be in both Hindi and English okay as these are just question and answer so and which we have already detailedly discussed in your chapter okay if you haven't watched this chapter the detailed description of this chapter okay detailed explanation of this chapter you can watch you can find the link in the description box okay you'll find the link of the playlist there. So now let us start and yes don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe my class okay. So now the first question is what are the Vedas? What is their message? So Vedas kya hai? Or in ka message kya tha? So is chapter mein humne pura Vedas ke baare mein, Vedic school of thoughts ke baare mein, yehi humne padha tha na Vedic society ke baare mein, Jainism ke baare mein, Buddhism ke baare mein. Hai ki nahi yaad hai na aapko? So yehi pe jo pehla question hai, what are Vedas? So Vedas, jaysay ki mene yaha pe thoda sa short karke likha hai, agar aap dekhna chao to book ke hisab se to kaafi zada lamba ho jayega, thik hai? The answer if you write down everything from as per your chapter, then it will be very long, okay? So I have little short on it, so that this will be helpful in your exam. So like this, okay? The Vedas are the most ancient Indian text, okay? देखो इसको हम टेक्स्ट क्यों बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि बाद में ये लिखा गया था ठीक है इट वाज लेटर ऑन रिटर्न डाउन ओरल ओके इनिशियली इट वाज नॉट रिटर्न डाउन इट वाज ओरली पास ऑन ओके फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू अनदर जनरेशन स्पेशली बाय ऋषिस एंड ऋषिकास अबाउट व्हिच आई हैव मेंशनड हियर आल्सो ऑलराइट you can take the screenshot and you can write it down in your notebook and yes please don't ask me for pdf if i started giving you pdf then what will happen you will not study that properly now and only during exam times you are going to study i know so if you are going to screenshot this and if you are going to write it down and understand what i'm saying then it will help in your preparation as well all right so the vedas are the most ancient indian text uh, originating from the sanskrit root ved okay संस्कृत रूट से ये ओरिजिनेट हुआ है वेद वर्ड से मीनिंग नॉलेज इसका मीनिंग क्या है नॉलेज देर आर फोर वेदास तो हम सबको पता है ना यहाँ पर कितना वेदास है ऋग वेदा यजुर वेदा साम वेद एंड अथर्व वेद हम ऐसे वेद भी बोलते हैं फिर वेदा भी बोलते हैं ना तो कंपोज इन सप्त सिंधवा रीजन तो ये कहाँ पर कंपोज हुआ है कौन से रीजन में सप्त सिंधवा ठीक है ये नाम याद रखना आप ठीक है ये जो चार वेद है ऋग वेद यजुर वेद साम वेद अथर वेद हम वेद भी बोलते हैं फिर वेदा भी बोलते हैं ना जैसे इंग्लिश के वर्ड के स्पेलिंग के हिसाब से वेदा हो जाता है तो जैसे हिंदी में अगर हम बोलते हैं तो साम वेद यजुर वेद ऋग वेद ऐसे बोला जाता है और राइट सो दे आर कलेक्शन ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ हिम्स मतलब ओम्स और सोंग्स ठीक है ये सारे कविताएं गाना ये सब कुछ है इसमें ठीक है रिसाइटेड ओरली देखो रिसाइटेड ओरली हुआ था ये सबसे पहले ठीक है बाय ऋषिज एंड ऋषिकाज एंड पास डाउन विद द प्रिसीजन फॉर सेंचुरीज तो ये जनरेशन टू जनरेशन क्या हुआ था ये पास ऑन किया था ओरली हुआ था ये सबसे पहले तो इसलिए हम बोलते हैं ना जो आज के टेक्स्ट हमें हमारे पास अवेलेबल है उसमें सब कुछ नहीं लिखा होगा क्योंकि जितना जिस जिस जनरेशन को याद होगा जिस जनरेशन ने स्टार्ट लिखा था लिखना स्टार्ट किया था लिखना तो तभी उतना ही वो लिख सकता है लेकिन ओरिजिनली उससे ज़्यादा भी तो हो सकता है ना द मैसेज ऑफ द वेदास रिवॉल्व अराउंड स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज harmony in the cosmos and core values such as truth तो ये देखो जो second part है ना what are the what is their message तो इसका answer आप जैसे लिख सकते हो the message of the Vedas revolves around spiritual spiritual knowledge harmony in the cosmos and core values such as truth rhythm जिसको बोलते हैं and unity ठीक है truth and unity को ये बहुत ज़्यादा मानते हैं ठीक है जो message इनका है कि truth और unity का इन्होंने दिया जैसे cosmos मतलब जो ऐसी एक दुनिया या फिर ऐसी एक universe जिसमें सब कुछ अच्छे से ordered हो और harmonious society जैसे harmonious system है को ना अच्छा सा एक system उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं cosmos बोलते हैं ठीक है तो आप ये इस तरीके से इस तरीके से लिख सकते हो दिस रिफ्लेक्ट्स अ बिलीफ इन यूनिफाइड रियलिटी बिहाइंड मेनी डाइटीज एंड अ कॉल फॉर ह्यूमन यूनिटी कम टुगेदर स्पीक टुगेदर यूनाइटेड योर हार्ट तो ये एक मैसेज दिया हुआ है वेदास के ठीक है तो ये मैंने शॉर्ट में यहाँ पे ऐसे लिखा है तो आप इस तरीके से आपके एग्जाम में लिख सकते हो ठीक है सो आई हैव रिटर्न दिस आंसर इन शॉर्ट ओके टेकन आउट फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट ओनली सो यू कैन राइट डाउन इन योर एग्जाम इफ यू आर आक्स दिस क्वेश्चन ओके एंड दिस इट विल बी अ रिविजन फॉर यू ऑल्सो विजेंट इट सो आई होप this uh, first question is clear 
if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment section okay you can write in the write down in the comment section and i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible so now let us move to the next question that is what new school of thought emerged in india's in the first millennium bce what are their core principles what is the full form bce before common era okay so यहाँ पे जो फर्स्ट मिलियनियम बीसी में ऐसे कौन कौन से स्कूल ऑफ थॉट इमर्ज होके आए हैं ठीक है तो यहाँ पे देखो आपके टेक्स्ट के हिसाब से बहुत सारे स्कूल ऑफ थॉट दिया है ना तो मैंने सबको क्या किया थोड़ा सा शॉर्ट करके यहाँ पे मेंशन कर दिया ठीक है सो देर आर सो मेनी स्कूल ऑफ थॉट विच आर बिन मैंशन इन योर बुक इज इट लाइक जर्नीजम बुद्धिज्म दिस वैदिक सोसाइटी वेदांत सो देर आर सो मेनी ऑफ द स्कूल ऑफ थॉट्स ओके विच ऑरिजिनेटेड और विच इमर्ज ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट इंडिया फर्स्ट मिलियनियम बी सी सो आई रिटर्न एवरी वन ऑफ दैम बट इन शॉर्ट ओके सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड यूल एबल यूल बी एबल टू राइट डाउन इन योर एग्जाम ऑल्सो एंड दिस विल बी अ रिविजन ऑल्सो फॉर अबाउट ऑल दिस स्कूल ऑफ थॉट्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वेन वी हैव डन आई होप यू रिमेंबर देर वर सर सेवरल स्टोरीज ऑल्सो इज इंट इट लाइक दे कन आउट फ्रॉम द ओपन शर्ट्स लाइक दे वर स्टोरीज uh nachiket and his quest i hope you remember we'll discuss those things also okay in the textual and in summary so now here how you can write this answer so you can begin like this in the first millennium bc several school of thought emerged first is the vedic school okay vedic school or the vedanta and yoga okay vedanta and yoga example here vedanta and yoga so according to this upanishad what is upanishad a group of text okay introduce the ideas of rebirth karma atma that is self and brahman universal essence see brahman what is this brahman this is very important so this brahman okay this is brahman that is according to vedanta okay according to vedanta school of thought it means everything okay everything that is including human life nature universe that is one these are all one divine essence called the Brahm, brahman all right this brahman so vedanta declared, declared i am brahman aham brahmasi so this is the mantra okay which is given in your text also i am brahmasi and you are that this is another mantra this is tat tatsam tadvam asi okay tadvam asi tadvam asi so like in your book it is written as aham brahmasi i am brahma i am brahman uh, that is to say i am divine tatsam asi you are that okay so this is the mantra and next school of thought the the under this vedic school was yoga okay yoga develop practices to realize this divine essence internally to know your one self internally okay that is yoga i hope you know the meaning of yoga and next school of thought we have the buddhism founded by siddharth gautama the buddha who thought that suffering is sorry who thought okay that suffering is rooted in ignorance advitya and attachment see if we are ignore if we have if we are ignore is we don't have we don't possess proper knowledge we don't possess spiritual knowledge that means uh, these are all the cost of suffering okay and attachment means attachment to this this materialistic world if you are not attached to this materialistic world then what will happen you will find peace and you will find happiness okay so this is what he have thought okay the cause of our suffering is uh, rooted in ignorance and attachment all right and he also advocated ahimsa that means non injury and inner discipline okay non injury non violence yes or no that is inner discipline and founded the sangha monastic community and the goal was enlightenment and ending suffering so what was his goal to uh, make everyone enlightened with his knowledge all right so that everyone will be uh, free from this ignorance they will know they will know the, the truth behind everything they will have a proper knowledge behind everything which ever existed in this university sorry in this uh, universe okay and to give to attend uh, enlightenment to everyone and to at and suffering suffering of human being so what was his message his message was that in order to end suffering we must detach ourselves from materialistic world and we should be we should not be ignorant we should be knowledgeable only then will attain enlightenment and will end our suffer yes or no so i hope you remember from the class which you have done and next we have the jainism isn't it this is was been propagated by mahavira who thought through aesthetic okay aesthetism and self realization so he uh, thought through aesthetism and self realization that is the core principle was ahimsa that is non violence and next is next is anikantavada that is truth has many aspects okay like not just one aspect we have so many perspective of this of this truth okay that is the truth has many aspect and cannot be fully described by any single statement okay and net is next is aparigraha okay aparigraha that is non possession 
all right non possession and advice that detach the which uh, which in which he also told us okay in which he also uh, teach us that we should detach ourselves from this material possessing and limiting oneself to what is truly necessary in life okay only uh, using on and limiting only oneself to what is truly necessary in life like your basic necessities like your food cloth isn't it water all this thing and we should not run after properties or we should not run after money we should not run after this materialistic world we should we we should detach ourselves okay non position okay non position and what this this word apari griha okay apari griha i hope this was clear and zenism okay they also emphasize on interconnectedness this is important okay interconnectedness of life and right action that means it insisted on the interconnectedness and interdependentness of all the creatures like for human from humans to invisible organisms like all the creature whatever is present in this universe okay like all of us are interconnected with one another as they support each other and cannot live without one another and scientists also studying nature they like nature the flora and fauna they have also again and again confirmed this deep truth okay like all the human creature all the organisms everyone in this world everyone in this universe are interconnected we cannot live without one another okay so that what this were the teaching of jainism i have this was clear next we have charvaka or lok lokayat okay lokayata so this is again a materialistic school this is a materialistic school okay this is again completely opposite with the the like jainism and buddhism okay it is that materialistic school school of thought okay school that rejected belief in afterlife and promoted only material world as real okay so these a uh, school of thought that is your charvaka okay which is also sometime known as lokya tat okay so they believe that this material world is the only thing that existed and therefore then there can be no life after that okay and it eventually disappeared but reflect the intellectual diversity of ancient india so this school of thought it doesn't uh, seem to gain uh, much of popularity okay and it disappeared within time so these are the school of thought and if you compare this uh, buddhism and jainism okay in both buddhism and jainism um, these monks and sometimes nuns too okay they used to travel from one place to another one region to another trying to spread their teaching their respective teaching okay far and wide and some of them even created these monasteries new monasteries far away and other led some uh, ascetic life in caves cut in the rocks and uh, these are all we came to know about all this thing through archaeological finding okay so you can say uh, buddhism and jainism there were many similarity okay but this last school of thought that is charvaka and this is not uh, not given in not the explanation is also not given in your book very much okay only it has been mentioned so that is why i thought that it should be mentioned here in this text also okay in this question also so you can write it down in this way okay i hope your answer will be clear for question number 2 also so now let us move to your question number 3 okay that is what is the contribution of folk and tribal tradition to indian culture so what is the contribution of folk and the tribal tradition so we are going to focus on that here okay folk and tribal tradition have deeply enriched indian culture okay you can write it down in this way you can take the screenshot though largely oral again here also they have passed their knowledge orally okay they have interacted for millennia with mainstream traditions like hinduism this interaction was mutual and like their contributions are folk and tribal deities that is jagannath at puri were absorbed into mainstream worship many tribal communities adopted hindu epics like the ramayana and the mahabharata in their own version okay they have their own version of ramayana and mahabharata and both systems shared belief in sacredness of nature both means both hinduism and this fall uh, tribal tradition okay they believe okay they believe in this system of nature okay sacredness of nature they, that means they used to worship the nature okay like river trees animals and mountains are seen as sacred even now also we used to uh, worship river the ganga river we used to consider it as a holy river isn't it we used to worship trees and we used to worship some animals uh, and we used to worship uh, like uh, sun isn't it this is all nature that means we are connected with nature so just like that tribal tradition also had a strong belief in the sacredness of nature okay and so these are their contribution we'll also see the examples as well 
Let us see the example. Examples like the Toda tribals of Nilgiri believe that mountain peaks are homes to God, isn't it? Like that is why we have so many mountains which are been sacred and like for example the Kedarnath. People used to visit there, isn't it? And uh, tribes in Arunachal Pradesh worship Doni uh, Polo, okay, that is sun and moon as supreme being. So these are some examples, okay, how they have also contributed, uh, like then they have also uh, connected themselves with the interconnectedness of these Vedas and all, okay. They, are, they also believed everything. And uh, next we have Santhal and Mundas worshipping Singh Bonga, a creator deity means, which has been believed that this is the creator of whole universe, okay, whole nature. And this shows that tribal folk and mainstream belief are interconnected, okay. How they are interconnected? They, this has been taken place so long naturally, okay, creating a rich cultural fabric unique to India. So, see how they are been interconnected. This have taken place uh, long ago, okay, long ago naturally. And like uh, because uh, this folk, tribal and Hindu belief system have many similar concepts like worshipping of deities, isn't it? Like the three elements, worshipping of nature like the mountain, river, trees, plants and animals and even they worship some stone too isn't it and they regarded them as a sacred so because there is a consciousness behind all of them and in deep in these the tribals okay generally worship many deities associated with those natural elements for the example we have seen this toda tribe arunachal tribes from arunachal pradesh isn't it worshiping sun and moon and been they are being considered as the supreme being and in the case of santhal and mundas they are worshiping the singbonga a creator deity that means a creator uh, this deity a supreme god God, okay which they believe that if you have created this whole world okay so there are many such example given okay you can also find out if you are more interested in this then uh, this in, in this way okay you can write it down the answer so is tarike se aap kya kar sakte ho aap answer likh sakte ho theek hai jaise tribal ka contribution kya kya raha humne sab dekha na jaise ki toda tribe ka arunachal pradesh ke tribe ka this is don pilo santhal tribe mundal tribe singh uh, inka kya tha ye jaise singh bonga ko worship karte the jo isko mante the ki ye jo sara duniya hai theek hai jo supreme uh, ye ek uh, supreme god hai jisne sab kuch banaya hai theek hai to inka alag alag belief aur inka jo belief aur hindu ka jo hinduism ka belief hai na wo kafi zyada milta hai theek hai इंटरकनेक्टेड है ठीक है एक दूसरे के साथ इंटरकनेक्टेड है क्यों क्योंकि दोनों जो दोनों जो है हिंदुइज्म और ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज क्या करते हैं मानते हैं नेचर को माउंटेन्स को एनिमल्स को प्लांट्स को ट्रीज को वर्शिप करते हैं कि नहीं तो बहुत सारे से कॉमन एलिमेंट है तो इसलिए इनका क्या है इनका अपना एक वर्जन भी है रामायण और महाभारत का है कि नहीं सारे मेनी का ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज़ का क्या है जैसे हिंदू एपिक्स है ना तो जैसे रामायण महाभारत का उनका एक अलग सा वर्जन है जैसे कि जब राम उनके वहाँ पर आए थे या फिर महाभारत के जो कौरवस जो पांडवस है टो नॉट कौरवस जो पांडवस है वो वहाँ पे जब गए थे तो क्या हुआ था वहाँ पे तो उनका उसी तरीके का एक वर्जन है अलग वर्जन ठीक है तो बोथ सिस्टम दैट इज हिंद की दोनों कम्युनिटीज जैसे हिंदू कम्युनिटीज और ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी दे इनका एक बिलीफ जैसे कॉमन बिलीफ है ठीक है जैसे कि नेचर को ये बिलीव करते हैं ठीक है नेचर को ये वर्शिप करते हैं तो इस तरीके से आप ट्राइबल और फोक ट्राइबल ट्रेडिशन के कंट्रीब्यूशन इंडियन कल्चर में आप लिख सकते हो ओके तो आई होप ये क्लियर है और ये इसी के साथ आपका जो बिग क्वेश्चन है ये एक एंड होता है ख़त्म होता है और नेक्स्ट में हम क्या करेंगे अब टेक्सुअल क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर करेंगे ये मैं अगले वीडियो में लेके आऊँगी ठीक है तो तब तक आपको क्या करना है लाइक like करना है शेयर करना है और सब्सक्राइब करना है ठीक है अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ भी शेयर करना है अपने क्लासमेट्स के साथ भी शेयर करना है एंड डोंट यस and yes if you want to see the detailed explanation of this chapter the the link is given in the description box theek hai aapko description box mein link mil jayega wahan pe playlist ka mil link mil jayega to aap wahan se dekh sakte ho all right aur baki subject ka bhi wahan pe link laga hua hai jaise ki maths aur science ka bhi aur english ka bhi to wahan se aap sab kuch dekh sakte ho okay so with this uh, we'll wind up uh, our today's class all of you have a very nice day ahead bye